Combine three-dimensional shapes, lesson 11.2. When we combine three-dimensional shapes, they're also called composite shapes. And three-dimensional shapes are also called 3D shapes for three, the number, and D for dimensional. And we've been learning about the cube, the sphere, the rectangular prism, the cone, and the cylinder. We can combine three-dimensional shapes to make new shapes. We put a cube on top of another cube, and we make a rectangular prism. See? When we put them next to each other, we still make a rectangular prism. It's just side by side now. We can put shapes together to make a new shape. We have a cube and a rectangular prism. We need to circle which shape it can make. Do you think it'll make this shape or is it going to make that shape? Well, if you said this one, you're right. We can lay the rectangular prism down sideways and put the cube on top of it, couldn't we? This one doesn't even have a rectangular prism in it, except it's two cubes making a rectangular prism. If we combine this cylinder with this cone, will we make this shape or this shape? Well, it needs to have a cone and this one doesn't have a cone, so it must be this one, right? It has a cone and a cylinder. We can make that shape. What about this one? We have a cone and a cube. Well, this one doesn't have a cone. It has a cylinder and a cube. This one has a cone and a cube, so we could make this one, couldn't we? Okay, we need to circle the shapes needed to make the combined shapes. So here we have a smiling person wearing a party hat. So we have a face and a party hat. Which shapes would we need to make this combined shape? I see the cone. We need the cone, don't we? Because that's the hat. And for his face, it's a sphere, isn't it? So those are the shapes that we would need to combine to make that one. What about this one? Which two shapes do we need to make this shape? This is a combined shape. Do you see the shapes that are combined? We have a cube and a rectangular prism. So we need this cube, or a cube, and we need a rectangular prism, and we can make that shape. What about this one? Which shapes do you see here? I see the cone, so we're going to need the cone, aren't we? And what other shape do you see? Is that a cube or a cylinder? Well, it's got a curve here, doesn't it? And cubes don't have curves. They have corners. So this must be a cylinder. And the cone is on top of it, so we can't see the circle on top, can we? All right? Emma made a castle with five three-dimensional shapes. We need to find all the shapes she used. So here are a lot of shapes, and we have to figure out which ones she used to make that castle. So which shapes do you see? I see a cone here and a cone here. So that's one, two cones. So we know we need two cones. Okay. So we know we need a cone, and this cone can be turned this way, right? So we need those two. Do you see any other shapes? Do you see the cube in the middle? Yeah, there's a cube in the middle. So we can use that. What other shapes do you see? We see the cone, the cube, and the cone. We've got the two cones and the cube. Do you see the cylinder? 
right here. And look, there's another cylinder. So we don't need these other shapes. If we put a cylinder, let's move it down a little bit, with a cone on top, okay, and we have another cylinder over here with a cone on top, and we put this cube in the middle, that's how she made that castle, isn't it? Okay, so we can make new shapes by combining three-dimensional shapes. We're going to talk more about making new three-dimensional shapes in Lesson 11.3. So I don't know if you've got any blocks or 3D shapes that you can play with, but see what you could make. Okay, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.